your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. Ask your neighbor. Say, neighbor, where are you building your life? Ask your neighbor once again. Where are you building your life? Are you building on Jesus? The real foundation? Ask your neighbor with confidence. Say, neighbor, where are you building your life? Are you building on Jesus the real foundation or the true foundation for the salvation of your soul? Yes. You need to ask this question. There are so many foundations where you can build your life. No one can question you. You can build on the sand. You can build wherever you feel like I can build this one. There's no problem. But is it a true foundation? And even when you are building on Jesus as a foundation, what type of material are you using to build that life? Are you using stones? Or maybe you are using whatever material which is available to you. Our real and true foundation is Jesus. For you to build on that foundation, you need to believe in Jesus. Praise the Lord. You need to do what? Believe in Jesus. Let's go to the book of First Corinthians. This is the question you need to ask. Where are you building your life? That is our simple title. Are you building on Jesus? First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder. And someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care. Take note of the word care. By the grace of God, or by the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder. And someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one who laid the laid, which is Jesus Christ. Twelve. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones or wood, lay or straw, 13. Their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to the light. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, we are here. And the Bible says that by the grace of God, or by the grace God has given me. First of all, you need to know this. Even, you know, when you wake up from the bed, know for sure that it is by the grace of God. Reasoning or thinking properly, it is by the grace of God. Eating with appetite, it is by the grace of God. Standing and walking, it is by the grace of God. Breathing in and out properly, it is by the grace of God. Now, if it is by the grace of God, where are you building your future after this life? Because the grace of God sustains you 24-7. How? When you believe, you attract the attention of your father in heaven as a wise builder. He will give you proper material to build your spiritual life. 
And that proper material is the Holy Spirit. Listen to this parable where, where I want to take you. Listen to this, what the Bible says in verse 12. If, en, I mean, if anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, or costly stones, or wood, or lead, or straw, there are works to be shown. Meaning, if you look at this material, there is gold, there is silver, there is whatever. All these materials that you hear from the Bible, you can see if this one is strong or not strong. If you put a stone when you are building a house, you know for sure that this is the material which is you know, needed for a very strong what? Building. If you go and cut, you know, lay, that is if you are need, to come and build your house, what are you building? Are you building a house? If you are need, Balakuria, do you know that Balakuri lefia and Yamanda, Mumishmari, to Adila la Pomuci, Fueva Fiakiro Kumushi, Fueva Fiakiro Kis Kumushi. What type of material are you using? Because the foundation is Jesus. And if you are building on that foundation, you need material that will suit that foundation. And it is only the Holy Spirit that can build on that foundation. Because we are not talking about building a wall like this one. We are talking about your future after this life here on earth. Praise the living Jesus. But each one should, you know, build with what? Care. Do you care about your, your spiritual life? Do you care about your salvation? See the way we are building this body. If you go and see the doctor, the doctor will tell you to say, in the morning, make sure that you eat two eggs and porridge. Then after one hour, you can now uh, eat another food. That is the instruction from the doctor. To do what? To build your physical what? body so that you look healthy and very strong. He will prescribe something more important for your health. He will not tell you to say, go and drink energy drink 12 a day. Ah, he's killing you. He will not tell you to say, go and drink 27 uh, bottles of castle. No. He will give you special food. After eating, you eat banana, you eat orange, you eat this one. What does it mean? You are building your physical body. So that you become healthy and strong. Now, we are talking about spiritual foundation. And that foundation is Jesus. I hope and trust the Spirit of God will help me to take you where God wants you to be spiritually. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I laid a foundation as a wise builder. And someone else is building on it. But each, each one should build with care. For no one can lay any foundation rather than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Where are you building your life? That is the question. If you are building on Jesus, it simply means that the Spirit of God is in you. As a material. The Spirit of God is where? Is in you as a material to use to build on Jesus' what? Foundation. Do you know the question I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring to you? If you say you are a Christian or a child of God, how did you become a child of God? Which foundation that raised you as a child of God? Is it because you know you have been uh, to the Bible college? Or maybe you study the Bible every day? Look at Apostle Paul before he became an apostle. Did he attend any Bible college? The answer is no. Only in three days the man became what? Apostle. I am not saying going to the Bible college is a sin. No, 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 no. no. I want you to know that the strength of every building is from the foundation. If your foundation was not properly done, 
they know for sure that even the building will not last. What do I mean? If you are not raised in the foundation of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, you cannot build yourself on that foundation. Come on, people of God. I don't know if you are getting the point. If you are not raised in that foundation and you were raised by another foundation which is not Jesus, then your Christianity life is questionable. I was saying yesterday that spiritual people are disciplined people. They don't move in out. They are conscious of what they are doing. Anything that you are doing as a spiritual woman or man, you are aware of the benefits or the consequence. Even when you are building as an engineer, you need to know the type of material that you are using to construct that building. Or else, you are building something that will kill innocent people. In this case, if your foundation is not Jesus, whatever you are saying today, tomorrow, is going to fall on you. And there you start blaming what? Jesus never blamed anyone because he was coming from a very solid foundation. And he became the foundation of you and me by making sure that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Are you there? Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. If it is not Jesus, the foundation of your... I mean, Jesus was not the one who raised you. That one is just an idea. An idea cannot resist the devil or temptation. It is only the good material that you use to build yourself that can resist Satan. And that material is the Holy Spirit. I know that this one is, is keeping your mind. Let me connect you to this. Let's go to the book of Acts so that you know what I'm talking about. Acts chapter 4. M before we go to 4, let's go to 10. And then we go to 4. 10 verse. 10 verse 42. He commanded us to preach the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as a judge of the living and the dead. 43. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sin through his name. Which name? Which name? Which means Jesus is the foundation of your faith. Your sins cannot be forgiven if it is not through the name Jesus. Whoever can tell you that, oh, you are forgiven, even when it comes for forgiveness to your brother or your sister, if it is not in the name of Jesus, you are telling your brother that I've forgiven you, you are lying. You are what? Forgiveness is in the name of Jesus. That is the foundation of your repentance. Let me read this one again. The, the last one. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sin through his what? His name. Which means Jesus is the foundation. Even for you to receive the Holy Spirit, it is through Jesus. For you to become a child of God, it is through Jesus. For you to become a pastor, Jesus must call you. For you to become an apostle, Jesus must call you. You need to go through the name Jesus. Even to, when it comes to understanding, how do you understand the things of the Spirit? Even if you have got masters, PhD in theology, do you understand this spiritual problem? The answer is no. But through Jesus, that understanding will be given to you. Simple as ABCD. And people will be fasting, lying down on the mountain, crying, today I will not go home until you answer me. They will receive nothing. But as for you, because it was a free gift from Jesus, you enjoy that life. 
He is the foundation of your faith. Where are you building your life? Do you know the name Jesus? If you call the name Jesus in the spirit, you are calling fire from heaven. It's just that we don't know the value of this name. It is only that name that can make you great. It is only that name that can change the face of your family. It is only that name that can give you a perfect life. Listen to this now. Verse 44. While Peter was still speaking his words, the Spirit, I mean the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. Let me repeat this one. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. In which name? Jesus. In which name? Jesus. This is where the problem is, people of God. Anyone can preach. It is not everyone who can tell a paralyzed man to say, rise and walk. If it is not possible for you to tell someone who is paralyzed to say, rise and walk, why is it possible that you can preach? The foundation where you are supposed to build your life is Jesus. While Peter was, you know, saying these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard what? And they become what? Believers. How did you become, you know, a believer without the Holy Spirit? I asked this question myself. I said, ah, ah. No, Melissa, no Panga Chagua Chirifi. Who is saved? Hello, the Sophia. Sometimes I'm Monica Quati, Tom Fuefe to London, and Utava, who can shop what? Peter was saying his words, and those who heard the message received what? To become what? And they start now building on who? Jesus. That is where you know that you are a child of God. Even Satan will be scared of you. You heard the brother who was, uh, this reminds me about, please, whatever you can do for the brother, I heard him was complaining that I've lost everything. I've lost the TV. I've lost this one. I've lost this one. Please, whatever you can do for that brother who was testifying, do that one. If you have got a, a TV, please, bring the TV for him. I, 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 I feel for him because what was happening to him, if it was not Jesus in this place, I don't think so. His case could be, you know, handled the way it has been handled. Where a coffin disappeared. Hmm? Okay, let me not go there. Are you there? Listen to uh, 45. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been put out even on Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Listen to this now. Then Peter said, surely no one can stand in the way of their being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. Which one? Which comes first? Baptism or Holy Spirit? Baptism, water, or spiritual baptism? Which one comes first? Huh? I can't hear you. Did you receive spiritual baptism or water first? Be sincere, you are in the presence of God. Don't lie. You received what? So you are changing the Bible. Because Peter said they have received what? So there's no need now to broke these people not to be what? Baptized. The way we receive the Holy Spirit, they too, they have received. Let them go and be baptized. 
This is why you see someone will be baptized today. After a week or a month, you see that person will drinking what? Yes. Church in Orlando, my brother. Why? Because as long as you are not baptized by the Holy Spirit, you are not building on that solid foundation. Maybe you don't know the point of this foundation. Meaning someone who is led by Christ will never go back to something that you vomited. But if you just follow someone who is going to church, or maybe Sangwapo, or Balech Sari Kruti, or Wasangwapo, oh, me too, I'm, uh, I surrender to Christ. Which one are you talking about? Tomorrow you go back to something that you have, you have vomited. Baptism or Holy Spirit. Eh? Hmm? Baptism without Holy Spirit. Mm. So we will cancel that baptism and uh, take you to the Holy Spirit. From there you'll be baptized again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Where are you building your life? That is the question. When you are raised by Christ, there is no amount of frustration, no amount of intimidation, not even money, not even men, and some men, beautiful women, that can bring you down. You are standing on the solid foundation that cannot be attracted with any material things. That is the foundation I'm talking about. This foundation, you can't find it anywhere. It is only Jesus. That's why the name Jesus was given to you. As your foundation. You cannot use your father's name. The name Jesus was given to you. First of all, your sins were given, I mean, forgiven through the name Jesus. From there, you start now building yourself by making sure that you obey him. And there, you listen to his word. Through listening to his word, you receive what? The Holy Spirit. And then you become what? Believers. Let's go to that book I talked about. Chapter 4. Verse 11. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. 12. Salvation is found in no one, no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. What are we talking about? The same Jesus that you are rejecting today and want to build on your own foundation becomes what? The cornerstone. There is no, I mean, there is no name here on earth that you and me can be saved apart from the name Jesus. Building on him who make you to live like Christ in the flesh. Building on him, you make you to walk like Christ here on earth. Building on him, you make you to talk like Christ here on earth. Even reasoning will not be like anyone here on earth. It will be like Jesus. That is the foundation. Where people are being provoked, where people are complaining for you, you are very calm. Because where you are standing, you are standing on the solid foundation. Jesus is the cornerstone of your life. Now, let's go to the same Acts chapter 19. I hope and trust this will lead me to that point. 19 verse 1. Are you there? Yes. While Apollo was at Corinth, Paul took the Lord through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. 
There he found some disciples. Take note of some what? Verse 2. He asked them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? They answered, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He asked them this question. Verse 3. So Paul asked, then what baptism did you receive? John's what? Baptism. They replied. Paul said John's baptism was of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him. And that is who? The name Jesus. When you become believers, there must be a sign to shift your life from the flesh to the spiritual dimension. So that you start now understanding the things of the spirit. Regardless of the experience of the flesh. The spirit of God will be in charge now to lecture you. And to open your mind. So that you understand the life in Christ Jesus. But in our situation, we use the experience. When you become born again. It is not a confession that can make you born again. It is the alive of the Holy Spirit in you. So that you start now building on Jesus. Through what? The Holy Spirit. Peter, full of the Holy Spirit. They told him, if I take you to that path, they discover that this man were unschooled. But what these people are doing is something that you cannot question. It is beyond our knowledge. It is beyond our power. What are we going to do? They stood on the foundation and that foundation is Jesus. Where are you building your life? Are you really, you are building on Christ Jesus or you are just using experience? Idomwapo Maybe you don't know this. If your repentance is not from the heart, you will not receive the Holy Spirit. After you know you confess all, you attract the presence of the Holy Spirit. For God Almighty to claim the ownership over your life, the Spirit of God must land on you. And sin is no longer active in you. So, you will not receive why? This is why you need to ask yourself, where are you building your life? Oh, how I wish I can continue with my message. There are more that I want to share with you. But because of time, go and read all these scriptures. Jesus is the foundation. Without Jesus in your life, you are not a Christian. And when Jesus is in you, Simply means the Holy Spirit is in you. To lead you, to guide you, and control you. You can even sleep inside the house with a woman who is not even your sister or your what. You will not wake up in, you know, midnight. No, kwambo kwende la pisa. Patu kondo. This is a brother. Mwachipe pabonse. Yo wishibati niwa brother muri yesu. Kanisa bapi dibuka. Now, 
Non, va les vendre la Samina Pari Baïbe. Non, mais ni c'est tout, il a fait mon bouton tout le temps, il a fait mon Which means, if you end up, mon fils, il a fait mon langa. Pourquoi c'est toi, il a fait mon langa? Non, comment il a fait mon langa? Moi, il a fait mon langa. Pati, je vais te riche en angwa. Because mon langa, il a fait mon langa, il a fait mon langa, il a fait mon langa. If you are gender, you can't sing and demo na bantu aba palanga iwe. No banda tina fi yoku be kata mo. Na yowu inesua pande tina. Mwebefi. Eshi be ata umli watuntulu. Because umuntu nga pili buka mweba na baku alesa. Take a life ya mumu bidi. If you are bachalota fi musesha. That's why tamo mwenene Jesus ya kuata ploti uku. Akuwa tenshi uku. Akuwa tenshi uku. Apo buwa hili la no la pala pena la itashani. Chapwa, ichikankala fie, ufungwa kwa lesabule ya pisa, pantanshi. Pari lelo, pamula ndoka, tatuwa, tatulekula pari Yesu Kristu, tulesa kama nefia pachalo. Tulesa kama nefia ntufile mwone kefia bantuwa kwete, kanshinga ninevo. Bambi na mfia afuma vefini alea kutoileti, amona moto kakukumu wati, kanshinga yandi. Ah ah. Nangu fiyo mtu wapita kukumbwa. Umuntu nga haba born again. Ayambo kukula pari yesu. Life ya pachalota imusu mkanya. Taichita shani? Beka la kumuluba di baba mumubidi. Beka la kuisa? Thank you. God bless you.